Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel and if you're new here, welcome to the channel. My name's James. I got a few questions about what software I use to do my focus stacking for micro photography. Personally, I use Photoshop. I'm going to walk you through my workflow and how I do my focus stacking. And that's up next. Okay, let's get right into it. This first method everyone knows about to just get into Lightroom. Then you can process one of the images to your preference, paste it all across the sequence you wanted to stack, and then you're ready to export the sequence into Photoshop. As you can tell, each of these photos pretty much slices this spider into different focus planes. I'm not gonna bore you with the processing part in Lightroom because this video is all about stacking in Photoshop. So how you do that is go up to photo, edit in, open as layers in Photoshop. What we're going to do in Photoshop is actually merge all these planes into one so it has the entire spider looking like it's in perfect focus. So I'm just going to fast forward through this part, let Photoshop do its thing. And this applies for pretty much any subject you'd like. And that's just as long as you have enough shots to merge in together and get the depth of field that you desire. And so now we're in Photoshop. And on the right hand side here, we have all the images that have been opened as layers. So the first thing we need to do at this point is go up here into the menu and hit edit and align the layers. You'll do auto align the layers, which works just fine for me. I leave that in auto. Hit OK. Photoshop's going to do its thing. Get the aligning done. And you'll see it's not perfect, at least when you're hand holding. And you can tell around the edges there that it wasn't perfectly aligned, which is fine because I'm going to crop all that off anyways. And what you're going to do is go back to edit and then auto blend the layers. And you put it in stack images. I leave seamless stones and colors, content aware, fill transparent areas. Click OK and just let Photoshop do its thing. This is actually my favorite part. Just watching what looks like a completely out of focus image come right into focus. Check this out. Just like magic, boom. So if you zoom in, you can tell it's not like completely perfect. There's some focal planes that I totally missed because I was hand holding this. But for Instagram and YouTube, it's totally fine. For me, I'm not going to retouch this further, but you can actually go in there and do some clone stamping and just make it look absolutely perfect. But I don't need to do that right now. This is just for my YouTube video. It's going to be on screen for two, three seconds, and that's all I need. So I'm going to leave it just as is. From here, just crop it to your liking. Go ahead and export it. I just export it as a JPEG. I put the quality to the highest and export. If you didn't want to export it right away, you could actually just hit save and it's going to take you back into Lightroom if you wanted to do more touch-ups to it. But for my purpose, I don't need to do any of that right now. 
So uh, it's all set. I exported it as a JPEG and I'm ready to use it. Here we go. Here's the final picture. As you can tell, like I said, it's not a perfect stack, but for what I need, it is does just good. Now I'm going to show you a second way, which is the main reason why I made this video is if you had all the images and you didn't export them straight out of Lightroom into Photoshop. So this is what you got to do. Go up here in Photoshop to file. Then you're going to go down to scripts, then click load files into stack. Hit browse, find where your files are. You can select all the files you want to stack, shift and select them all, hit OK. And when you get this dialog, click OK. And you're back to the same step that we were when we exported the files directly out of Lightroom. And what we got to do here is the exact same procedure we did when we exported them from Lightroom. Select them all, auto align them, stack them and export. And that's it. Just as simple as that. Well, I hope someone found this video helpful. If you liked it, please share it with someone. Give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment, and we'll see you on the next one.